Welcome to Kitty Hubbard High Dependency Unit. This is an exciting new unit that we've been involved in right from the word go. This new unit is going to provide the level of care to patients that um, require intensive monitoring and treatment. We have got a overnight stay room for relatives, which unfortunately we don't have in the intensive care unit. This is going to be so important for our relatives because it will be somewhere for them to go and sit quietly. They'll be able to stay overnight if necessary. Uh, and we'll be able to use that both for patients, relatives that are in the high dependency unit, but also in the intensive care unit, our critical care unit. Before we opened the unit, these patients were care in the wards, or in critical care. Now they'll be able to come to this specialised ward where the level of treatment and monitor, monitoring can be provided in a timely manner. Um, in high dependency we will be allocating one nurse to two patients and that means that she can't be with her patient all the time and we need to be able to see our patients um, all the time. So within the side rooms we talk with our architect and the project team how we could get over that and we've managed to get big uh, open areas of windows that we can actually see into our patients um, if we're not in with them, um, reassure them because they'll be able to see, in, uh, see us out onto the main unit Unit. and that's a real big uh, benefit for us clinically. The type of patients that are going to be admitted to um, high dependency units are the level 2 patients. Those patients um, will require a high level of monitoring and treatment and those patients will come from different areas of the hospital because of either needing um, treatment for the blood pressure because he's not responding to the uh, normal um, treatment that can be provided in the ward. Um, here they will receive um, invasive monitoring and also in invasive treatment with inotropic support. With the support of South End Hospital Charities we've been able to purchase some state-of-the-art equipment for our high dependency unit. For example, we've uh, purchased some beds that are really um, going to make life so much easier for us as nurses, but also going to help with um, managing patients clinically. Um, these beds, they actually weigh you when you um, get on the bed because all our patients are, will be generally unable to get out of bed to go on to weighing scales. That means that drug calculations will be much more accurate. It means that we'll be able to monitor our fluid balance of our patients much more accurately. The beds also help with the turning because they tilt the patient slightly. Um, they help with mo early mobilisation because they put the patient into a sitting chair. Uh, position that we can then stand them up from. So from a nursing and physio and rehab perspective they're going to make such a big difference. We've also purchased some uh, um, specialist uh, respiratory support equipment. It's called OptiFlow. Um, this allows us to give high flow oxygen to patients via nasal cannula. Other patients might need um, help with um, renal failure, needing haemofiltration, and um, patients also that because of their comorbidities are in a higher risk category for um, complications may need to come here after either elective or emergency surgery. That will ensure a speedy recovery and the patient outcomes will improve. We've got um, new monitors at each of the bed spaces and uh, What's going to work well for us is that these are all linked to a central console at the nurses station so that if any of the um, nursing or medical staff are seated seated at the nurses station doing some other work and um, they'll be able to see those patients parameters uh, very easily. So all the critical care team, the nurses, doctors and physios have been involved right from the start with the project team and the architects designing a uh, unit that we will just love coming to work in.